was there before the Big Bang? Well, you see, there was no before, because before the Big Bang, time did not exist. Time is a result of the expansion of the universe itself. But what will happen when the universe has finished expanding and the movement is reversed? What will be the nature of time? If string theory is correct, the universe possesses nine spatial dimensions and one temporal dimension. Now, we can imagine that in the beginning, all the dimensions were twisted together. And during the Big Bang, three spatial dimensions, the ones that we know as height, width, and depth, and one temporal dimension, what we know as time, were deployed. The other six remained minuscule, wound up together. Now, if we live in a universe of wound dimensions, how do we distinguish between illusion and reality? Time, as we know it, is a dimension we experience only in one direction. But what if one of the additional dimensions wasn't spatial, but temporal? If you mix the mashed potatoes and the sauce, you can't separate them later. It's forever. The smoke comes out of Daddy's cigarette, but it never goes back in. We cannot go back. That's why it's hard to choose. You have to make the right choice. As long as you don't choose, everything remains possible. Why does cigarette smoke never go back into the cigarette? Why do molecules spread away from each other? Why does a spilled drop of ink never reform? Because the universe moves towards a state of dissipation. That is the principle of entropy, the tendency of the universe to evolve toward a state of increasing disorder. The principle of entropy is related to the arrow of time, a result of the expansion of the universe. But what will happen when gravitational forces counterbalance the forces of expansion? Or if the energy of the quantum void proves too weak? At that moment, the universe might enter its phase of contraction, the big crunch. So what will become of time? Will it reverse? No one knows the answer.